What's going on, guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane, and today I have my special friend with me here today, not as fan. Hey, what's going on, guys? And today we want to talk about MLB 13, the show, with you guys. The baseball games just came out yesterday, of course, the show and MLB 2K12 too. So we wanted to talk about the show today and basically our initial thoughts on it and give you guys initial impressions and a breakdown of this year's baseball game. Yeah, the real baseball game. <laughs> All right, so first I think what people want to know is what makes the show different um, from the predecessor, because the show isn't really a, a series that always revolutionizes. They've created the formula since they're on the PlayStation 2, and they just keep improving the game year after year, and that's great, because we've never, in my memory, we've never had a game that's been like, oh, that one's terrible, like I would say Madden 11 is for this current generation of Madden games. So what do you think, what is new about this year's show? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the old adage, if it's not broken don't fix it but they they just kind of add to the feature set every year and just make it that much better adding on to what is already great gameplay and great modes so uh the menus are you know first off the menus are are, are much slicker i like the setup this year you can really get to things pretty quickly uh, as far as brand new stuff we definitely have the new postseason mode so for those of you who don't want to play through a whole franchise, maybe even sim through a franchise just to get to the good stuff yeah, more. I just thought about this right now. Like, couldn't you just use postseason mode as basically a small tournament mode? Like, Definitely. You could just, like, they take that out of most games nowadays, but now you can just play tournament mode, but it's postseason. Yep, because it's fully customizable with any teams you want to play. You know, you want to, you're a Houston Astros fan. You know, first of all, our condolences. But, you know, <laughs> you're the American League now. Maybe it's a new dawn of a new era. You want to take those Astros on a uh, postseason run, you can do it now. Put them in, put them against, you know, just, you know, you can do crazy matchups. You can recreate the field from last year because that's the default. But it's nice because it is a way of them showcasing the little touches that they've added to postseason play, whether it is commentary, lots of new broadcast style um, presentations that are specific to the postseason, so it's a nice way to showcase it that way as well. And then there's also the MLB Live mode, it's called, right? Yeah, they call it the Show Live, and uh, it's a lot like what they do in MLB Today, the 2K series, although I think it's going to work better. It's going to be a better mode for me, because not only can you play the matchups from that day, but it works as a really nice, like we were just talking before we started this, it's almost like an ESPN tracker of what's going on that day in baseball. You can go in there and you can watch the stats update as the games go on, and if you're uh, if you're an MLB junkie, you know you can really kind of keep on track of what's actually going on. But then the nice thing is, is you can go to any point in the season that's already been played, and you can go back and, and recreate that game. Maybe there was a really good game um, down the you know the pennant chase, and you want to you want to kind of recreate that and play that. You can have it with the lineups they played with that day, the pitchers, all the stats will be saved to that day. So all the commentary that goes on will be based around what's happening in that point of the season, not what might be happening on that day that you play it. So that's kind of a nice touch. Yeah, so those are like the two big new things in this year's version of the show. But uh, what would you say, like, besides those two modes, like, people that, that already have MLB 12 the show, they want a reason to have to buy this game. Now, the main thing that I know but I haven't played with yet is they've revamped Road to the Show. Now, you, yep, could, you probably know show. more about that than I do. Uh, uh, presentation elements. Yep, they've revamped that a little bit. The, the the cameras they play on. The cameras are really cool, and you can actually. Is it a lot like the ones that are in Home Run Derby now? Yep the 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 batting is almost identical to the Home Run Derby. The only difference is, you know, your player is going to take off out of the box running, so it's going to continue uh, at at his view, and then you can also use your like your L one R ones to. Uh, look behind you to see if you know the the outfielder's gotten the ball in. Yeah, I've seen an example where a guy hit uh, a ball to the right center gap, and he was basically looking over to that side to see uh, like how far away the fielder was from the ball. And then he turned the corner around first base and tried to go get three bases. And um, I think and it's a really cool perspective. Will take right to your third base coach. So if you want to see his prompts as well, that that works. And then I think the the biggest change is going to be also the the fielding cam for people to get used to. Yeah, it's, and is is the throwing meter to uh, this year different than the past years? If the throwing meter that the, that that is default is a little different, um, they've they've revamped that again. Although the thing I really love about how the show goes about its business is that they always let you go. Like they're not going to say, "Hey, 
this is what we did for this year. Exactly. They have so many yeah. mechanics yeah. you can do. So you can always go back like, oh, I liked, I liked, you know, I like the presentation in 13, but I want to go back to the way I, I used buttons before. I don't want to do analog. You know, they always keep those options in there for you. What, what is the type of pitching you like to do? What's what that? type of pitching do you do? Like uh, last year, I did pulse pitching because it was new and I was trying to get used to it. Yeah, and I don't like pulse pitching. I've used meter since like I started playing the show, so I just keep using it. I don't have to use pulse pitching. A anybody who goes back to like the MVP baseballs of EA, you know, like that that era. Exactly. That's why I'm you're, comfortable. You're, you're going to have pitched on on meter pitching, and so uh, I think that's what most people expect and are most comfortable with. Um, I, I, I kind of liked Paul's pitching because it was something different. I could I could not always make perfect pitches, and I kind of like that. So, it can, But it can be frustrating at times. So that's the thing. It's going to be different for any everybody. And, and when I make videos, people are always like, okay, well, what, what uh, you know, do you do pure analog hitting? Do you do buttons? Like every, everybody always wants to know that information because I think everyone wants to know how, how people go about it themselves. Right. And I've had this question before, too, like, how does a game feel compared to last year? I'll say it feels pretty much the same. Like, it's pretty much been the same since 2005 or whenever they introduced the franchise. It's yeah, just the I core gameplay is solid. They're not touching it, and I don't really see the reason to. All I want to see each year is they tune the game to be more realistic, and they try to get percentages right with, like, one of the, my main gripes is I think the computer throws too many first-pitch strikes that are meatballs. And I, I yeah. want to take pitches and be patient, but I can't. Uh, I can't lay off a pitch over the middle. That's the first pitch. But but at the same time, the show has always rewarded people who be patient, who can work counts. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. like, yeah, you may get that first pitch meatball, but you might also, you know, line it right to the third baseman. And like a lot of times, uh, I've noticed that you know if you're patient enough, which I'm not, <laughs> but if you can work, you know, full Most counts, of work three counts, you're going to get much better. Um, at bats because you're gonna you're really gonna hit the ball on those hitters and especially counts. in road to the show like you get a lot more points for it saying like you hit a fly out on the first pitch strike whereas you might go like work it full fall off a couple of pitches and still strike out you'll still get some good points right yeah they, they try to put some baseball logic in there it's fuzzy at times but it works it works pretty well as a system so uh you know you're talking about throwing meatballs right down the middle of the plate and that leads into another new uh segment of the game uh, you want to ask what else is new maybe you're intimidated about you know like how the game is getting to be more for the seasoned players who played a lot well they do have beginner mode now and it does start basically by throwing the meatballs you know fastballs right down the middle of the plate and it judges how you're doing as you go along and it'll move you up in level accordingly so you kind of take the training wheels off as you go so if you're really kind of intimidated by the game you don't really have to be you can yeah i would say the show is probably the one sports game that i've played that really has difficulty and it has somewhat of a learning curve like i struggle to play on veteran because i don't play the game that often which is the yep. middle difficulty so i've bumped my hitting down to rookie which is second out of six i think and yep. i do veteran pitching and i love being able to do veteran pitching because rookie pitching is too easy for me well, that's a great thing. You can do them in individual categories. You can tweak that to what your your strengths are. And what that feature there, like being able to do your different mechanics and your different difficulties for different aspects, that's nothing new. But it's just it's just a good part of the game. And now the one more thing I wanted to talk about is Diamond Dynasty. Now they introduced this mode last year, and I was kind of I had the notion right away that oh, Ultimate Team, but baseball. And I never realized this last year. I got into Diamond Dynasty for the first time ever yesterday. And I'm really disappointed I didn't try it out last year because it's very different if you've never played it before. I don't know what's different from last year because I never even went into the screen last year to see what it looked like. I don't watch any videos on it either. So Diamond Dynasty basically, it focuses around Dynasty players, which are like made up players. That you, there, it's like Road to the Show and like franchise mode and online competitive leagues mixed together into one with ultimate team components as well. You're able to have these dynasty players that are available for like 35, 40 games and you train them and you get the ratings up and you can customize them and build your team that way. And you can also get MLB players. Like my starting pitcher is, um, oh, it's slipping my mind right now, but he's an ace for somebody. And I can't remember who he is, but I got like Tony Gwynn Jr. and Alex Rios. And I like having those guys on my team. And then I have the Dynasty players that I'm trying to build up myself and build my team. And it's a lot different than any other Ultimate team I've played. And a 
Yeah, and it's fun because it, it encourages you encourages you to develop those dynasty players because the MLB players are capped at 10 games. And so you might have an awesome player you put into your lineup, but you're not going to have them very long. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the, there is any even contract card. So you're like, no, it's not like, if your team is going to be built around MLB players, you're probably going to have less fun because you're going to have them for 10 games and then you have to lose them, I think. But if you have the dynasty players, they're available for 35 or 40 games. So you get three and a half or four times the games with them and then uh, you rinse and repeat and you can customize names too that's really cool and I think you can customize their looks and everything yep and, and if you followed my Diamond Dynasty at all last year you'll know that you can go through there and look at the PA announcer names that are, are available and you can come up with some pretty hilarious uh, combinations if you're if you're into that be creative if they put like Chuckle like 6,000 names into the game I swear they have every last yep. name in the MLB plus more I think Plus, like, some nickname-oriented stuff. Yeah, yeah, so if you've never tried Diamond Dynasty, I'd say it's a good mode to get into, but my main gripe, everybody's main gripe here in the community is there is no option to play against your friends. You have to play a random opponent, and I'm going to address that on my channel in the next two days sometime. I want to make a video talking about that to try to get the developer's attention to put that in the game. I think if you add that in, then this crushes Ultimate Team in, in say, like Madden, just because of all the customizing, you know, and you know, you can you can fully customize your uniforms in this, give it that that special look that it's your team, you can really have, you know, you don't have to do that stuff if you're not into that, but it, it gives you a great customizable set. Oh yeah, I've never seen an Ultimate Team where you get to customize your jerseys before. Yeah, but you need to be able to play your friends, and that's, that's where it, the longevity dies, because, I mean, you know... <laughs> If you're one of those highly competitive online guys, great. You know, I mean, if you're into finding the exploits in a game and using it to your advantage, great. But, but you know, Hurricane and I want to play people in our community. We want to play games that we know are going to be We want to play each other and try to make some... Because, like, you have all these low-rated players. Like, you're just playing with those guys to have fun anyway. And so right. <laughs> play a game against not as fan with my, like, 60, 70 overall rated players. Probably play a game like 25 to 30. <laughs> Ridiculous scores with, like, 20 errors on each side. Probably still How be a lot of fun. How live streams like that be? I mean, see, that, that would bring so much fun to it. Not that unrealistic baseball is fun, but it'd still be a lot of fun just to play <laughs> against you and make make a dynasty player that can crush not as fan with a walk-off home run. Start that I named lab. after him. Yankees, Red Sox. I can yeah. name my player Sports Gaming Universe and beat not as fan with him. <laughs> That'd be the ultimate crush, wouldn't it, right there? Exactly. Oh. Competitive leagues, you have to be able to play your friends. If you don't know your competition, that takes away the competition partially. You can still yep. have fun, but it's so much more fun to beat people you know. Definitely. So uh, there also have been made, uh, changes made to franchise mode. I have not really gotten into it yet because I'm waiting possibly for roster sets to come out that will include the rookies, but uh, franchise has revamped like their player scouting. They've got a new training system where you can train players individually now instead of just position sets, which is nice. It kind of is like what Madden's doing in Connected Careers where you can spend that XP exactly how you want it. You, you, so you can make your guys power hitters. You can make them speedsters. You know, you can you can work on that training individually with players. So uh, And then they have the dynamic budgets. So if you... Take a Kansas City Royals or you know a team like that that has nothing for budget. If you actually perform well, then then the G, the owner is going to notice that and they're going to throw more budget. And that's way. a so really really that's good um, feature because the MLB obviously doesn't have a salary cap. Right, they've got like, whatever they do luxury tax or something like that. So like the Yankees get a little slap on the wrist for going over, but uh, yeah. So so but it'd be nice because then you can actually take a a small market team such as the. Twins, yeah, I mean, I guess, twins are going to pay more money to players if they're just going to keep losing. I mean, look right. at teams that are that have for a long time been losers. So it's nice to know that at least you can be rewarded for for pulling something off with a smaller market team. So that, that that'll be cool. I, I'm really looking forward to to digging into franchise this yeah, year. It'll be fun. And basically, if I had to sum it up. I really do like this game right now. I I especially like the changes with the graphic overlays, the fonts, and the menus. I like that stuff a lot. The gameplay, rock solid. Diamond Dynasty is a lot of fun. Has potential to be even better if they do implement friend like inviting. Even if it's an unranked game, I don't care how it is. But yep. um, I like the game so far. And I think we've touched base on pretty much every major aspect of the game. So we're probably going to wrap this up here in just a moment. So I'm not a fan of... Uh, around third base and take it home. Yep, I'm I'm in the same category as you. I 
like this game, borderline love it um, for what they didn't change and what for they did change. You know, keep the the core gameplay rocking, add these fun little things like postseason mode, just a little more diversity. You know, just tweak that Diamond Dynasty a little more. Just give us friends. That's all we're asking. Not much. Um, and I think Road to the Show is going to be awesome this year with the with what they've added. So, and, that, and that's the meat and potatoes. Of what I play too. So, I'm really psyched. I like what I see so far. Uh, unlike its competitor, who was kind of shoved back into the ring and uh, didn't really. Our bring condolences anything. go out to our brothers on the Xbox 360. We feel for you guys. We feel for you guys. So um, yeah, it's a solid game. I I would definitely um, I'd say check it out. Uh, you know, even if you haven't bought one in a while. Check it out. Yes. Uh, Baseball they're, they're junkies, you probably already know how good this game is, but if you don't, um, watch some raw gameplay. Just watch some footage of this game, and you'll be like, okay, I got to get this. Yeah, and, and for years, the, the show has is, is, is talked. I mean, if you look in forums and stuff, it's all about the little things, the, the, the little touches they bring to things. Whether you're playing on Jackie Robinson Day and everybody's wearing 42 or you know pink bats on Mother's Day, that just all the little things that you wouldn't even need in a game but, but, man, it just brings that little realism out. It's it's great. Exactly. So I think that's a good way to end it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the dual commentary. If you have any questions, be sure to hit us up on our Twitters, perhaps, at NotUsFan for him and at Mr. Hurricane for myself. But uh, we like the game. Hopefully you guys do, too, if you pick it up. So we'll have content coming your way. I'm not sure what I'll be doing myself. I'm sure NotUsFan has some good ideas of his own. And plus his 24-hour live stream on Friday. Friday night, 6 p.m. Central Time, 24 hours, MLB 13. Yes, yeah, so if you're, if you're borderline, waiting to see if you want to buy the game, watch, watch part of the 24-hour stream at least over on his channel, and you'll get great impressions. He'll probably dig into every part of the game. So Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll mix it up, and we'll look at all the different modes that we can hit in 24 hours. All right, guys, so that's going to uh, wrap it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you later.